Home of the ancient pharaohs, Egypt is a destination full of dazzling temples and tombs that all who visit. It's not all historic treasures and tourist attractions though. With vast tracts of desert for 4WD adventures, the Red Sea's world-class coral reefs and wrecks for divers, and cruising on the famed Nile River, there are plenty of things to do in Egypt for all types of travelers. Number 1. Sinai Mountain. Unsurprisingly, one of the four sacred mountains listed in the Bible, the Sinai Mountains, would include a cathedral and a monastery devoted to St. Catherine. Many devout and adventurous pilgrims set out from this monastery to climb this mountain in quest of the Lord's glory, and to retrace his steps, as described in the Bible. Stay near the mountain and get closer as the sun rises and sets, the mountain's peak looks as though it were made of gold, making those times the best to visit. Number 2. Ras Muhammad National Park. For scuba divers, Ras Muhammad National Park is a veritable oasis in the middle of the desert, thanks to its crystal clear blue waters teeming with dolphins, fish, and reefs. The park's famous cliffs inspired the designation of this 200 hectare national park along the Red Sea's shore. For outdoor enthusiasts, take advantage of this alluring destination during a December stay in Egypt. Number 3. Montaza Palace. After being forced to abdicate in the 1950s, Egypt's final monarch, King Farouk I, lived at the Montaza Palace. Today, the El Salamlek Palace, located not far from Alexandria, where visitors can have a base, operates as a resort and casino under any of its two names. Most of the palace is now a casino resort, while another section is now a museum displaying royal heirlooms. Number 4. Geyer Anderson Museum. Located in Cairo, Egypt's capital, the Geyer Anderson Museum is right across the street from the equally famous mosque of Ibn Tuluan. The museum sits in a restored historic home originally constructed in 1645. It opened to the public in 1945. Go here immediately when staying in Egypt in December and look at all exhibitions plus the museum's surface. From the roof to the doorways and the flooring, imbued with the rich heritage of ancient Egypt. Number 5. The Cairo Tower. Among the many landmarks in this ancient civilization's modern capital city is the Cairo Tower. This tower, located in the heart of Cairo, is shaped like the holy lotus flower of ancient Egypt and includes a lookout deck and two eateries. Look out over Cairo, the Nile, and the Pyramids of Giza from this vantage point. A hotel close to the tower is recommended, as there is no better time to visit than at sunrise or sunset when the light and colors are most vibrant. Number 6. Karnak Temple. Dedicated to the god Amun-Ri, the Karnak Temple is the largest structure of its time and has 134 sandstone pillars the tallest of which are 21 meters. These structures predate the New Kingdom of Egypt and are often regarded as some of the world's finest examples of religious architecture. Book a hotel close to the temple and enjoy the warm daytime temperatures in Egypt in December, making the winter months ideal for visiting these monuments. Number 7. Abu Simbel Temple. Massive carvings on Abu Simbel Temple once denoted the frontier between Egypt and Nubia. The purpose of these colossal works of art was not just to impress visitors or tourists but also to warn any would-be invaders that the Egyptian civilization was formidable and powerful. These sculptures were initially discovered in 1813 by Swiss explorers, but they had been buried in sand since a massive sandstorm destroyed Egyptian civilization. Afterward, they were displayed in front of the Abu Simbel Temple to draw admiring looks from tourists on their way inside. Include a visit to Abu Simbel during your December stay in Egypt. Number 8. Valley of Kings. Two primary sources have allowed us to learn much about the ancient Egyptians. The first is the well-sealed tombs and mummified remains of the pharaohs of Egypt, which, together with the dry Egyptian environment and weather, preserved all the grandeur of Egyptian civilization. Travelers frequently visit the Valley of the Kings, 
also called the Valley of the Gates of the Kings, and enjoy a stay in the area exploring the Theban necropolis on the west bank of the Nile, across from modern-day Thebes, Luxor. Number 9. The Red Sea. Coral reefs and year-round warm temperatures make the Red Sea a popular vacation spot. Though the stretches of the shoreline may sometimes be crowded and noisy, there are, however, retreats that offer peace in addition to their usual amenities like sunbathing, swimming, and scuba diving. In-depth guided tours of the stunning marine life that inhabits the waters near resorts like these are available. Visitors will enjoy snorkeling in Egypt in December thanks to the mild temperatures and clear skies. Number 10. The Great Pyramids of Giza. The pyramids may be the finest place to visit in Egypt in December because of their legendary reputation. Most people know the Great Pyramid of Giza as the tomb of 4th Dynasty Pharaoh Khufu. The pyramid is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world having been constructed in the early 26th century BC for roughly 27 years. It is located in Greater Cairo and stands next to modern-day Giza as part of the Giza Pyramid Complex. Stay in the area and marvel at this beauty which, for over 3,800 years, stood at 146.6 meters, 481 feet, tall as the world's biggest man-made monument.